Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter. How are you doing today? Just wanted to come on and we are going to do a beach tumbler um, cup. So um, I posted a picture or a video of one that I did um, previously in our Mr. Nola's Glitter Facebook page and so a lot of people have asked for tutorials. So this is going to be kind of like a weird tutorial. Weird. Um, I will show you how I glitter the cup and then I'm going to put you on pause and then when I come back I'll have the cup already epoxied so we'll go on to the next step so there's no waiting okay so you'll be able to see from start to finish uh, how to do um, the beach cup that I do um, I don't have one here one's up I have the, the one that I have for display is on the door shelf out there and I can't reach it because I'm short so um, we're just gonna go with it at the end of the video I'll show you what we come up with so everything that we're using today you can find on mrnolasglitter.com we sell all of all of these supplies and more um, if you check the description below I will link you to everything that I've used if you like what I do please like and subscribe and if you have any questions please leave them below I'll go back and answer all the questions so without further ado let's go ahead and get started on this um, on this beach tumbler so I'm gonna turn you down all right so I'm starting with a white spray painted based cup doesn't matter what size um, what style where you get it um, it's your personal preference these are my personal preferences. This is a skinny 20 from Stainless Depot. Um, the one that we'll show you, I'll show you how to finish the inks on is actually a 24 ounce, but it doesn't matter. So I have mixed one pump and one pump of my epoxy already. So it's pretty clear. Um, I mixed it before I got, before I started the video. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do the epoxy method on your cup for your glitter. This is my preferred method whenever I um, adhere glitter to a tumbler. You use less glitter, so your, your glitter goes a long way, no matter what glitter you're using, um, and it's more permanent. I'll always prep my cups before I get started. I sand them down, spray paint them with a flat spray paint, closer to, closest to what I'm working with. Um, I have white glitter that's going to go into this, so I always, if I have white glitter, I always try to spray paint white. If you feel like you want to spray paint an ombre on here, by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, I just basically start with a white cup all the time, okay? This is one pump and one pump of Farizal Epoxy. Uh, I think they're 15 milliliters per pump. This is probably way too much because you want very little on here when you're going to, um, when you're going to use the epoxy method for to adhere your glitter. So um, I'll ha I have a little mold to the side over here. I'll um, I'll probably put a, something in a little mold. So I just take a little bit. This is how I do mine. By all means, you do whichever way you feel comfortable with. This is just the method that I work. I just want to, I take a little bit on my finger and I, my turner's not very stable. I just rub into the cup. You just need a little bit on here. You don't want it oversaturated because it will suck up a lot of glitter and you don't really want that. You're basically using this as a super glue, permanent glue to adhere your glitter to your cup so you can go on to the next level, the next step. After I do my glitter, um, my glitter coat on a tumbler like this, I usually wait about two hours and then I go ahead and flood coat the top. So um, I could basically get to the next level of a cup, meaning where I'm ready to do a decal probably the same day if I start early enough. This actually speeds up the process um, if you're going if you're not using another method like the tacket method which is another one of my favorite methods um, so as you can see I am wiping every little bit of excess of epoxy off of this cup I want it super thin so when I wipe it off I'm gonna scrape it on the side of this cup because I don't want it to pool at all I just want it tacky to hold my glitter just to adhere the glitter
by all means if you do not use if you use a pump oh, I mean if you don't use a pump you only need I mean I'm less than five milliliters to put on your cup if for you guys that need to know the milliliters um, I don't keep up with that because I I usually do a lot of cups at one time so anything I have left over I always put in a mold so I'm just making sure the whole cup is totally covered and I have removed every bit of excess that I possibly can from the base because when we start adding our glitter I don't want it if there's too much epoxy the epoxy is going to soak up the glitter and it's gonna look flat and you're gonna have to use more glitter and that's the whole point of doing the epoxy method so you use less glitter and you're moving on to the next layer so I, pr I think that is pretty much smooth and as you can tell I barely used epoxy out of here okay so I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to change my glove out because I don't want epoxy on my glove when I work with my glitter. So one second. So, all right. So I start at the top whenever I'm doing the beach ombre. So we are going to be using five colors glitters. By all means, you can do this with three. You can do it, um, I'm just a little extra and I want it to follow. When you see the other cup, I want you to see that it looks exactly like this. So let me make sure that you guys are in. Which way do y'all need to go this way? There we go. So I'm gonna put a little catch paper under here so I can catch the different glitters that I'm gonna sprinkle on this cup. I always save my glitter. Let me make sure you guys. I hope it's clear for y'all. All right. So I'm going to start with the darkest color on the top, which I'm going to be using Blue Bayou. These are all found on MrNolasGlitter.com. This is a dark blue and light blue iridescent. I think I will have to move you up because I got to. Ah, it's me. Hey. <laughs> I'd be able to sprinkle high. So I, you can use a sprinkle spoon so you don't do that, but so I start at the top up here. This is an iridescent glitter, so it's gonna change. It's gonna look different depending on which way you look at it. So this, I like this to be my darkest spot at the top. And you don't have to worry about if it if you think that you can see through it because you're going to be putting another layer of um, epoxy over the top with some colors. All right, so that is my blue bayou, and I will put this back into my jar over here. And I it down. The next color I'm going to use is Rougarou. All right, and it is a light blue metallic. You can see, like light blue metallic. So I am going to I need to remember to do that. I love these jars, but sometimes they're so messy, and it's it gets in places I really don't want it to get, but that's okay, we'll fix it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it if you make a mistake. All right, so this is my second part of my sky here. There is more than one way to do this, guys, so if you've seen another tutorial and you like a step that they do, by all means, combine, combine techniques together. There's not ever one way to do a design everyone has their own ways and everyone learns differently from different people so by all means pick what works for you all right so we will put that back in my jar all right the next color we're going to go with is Sacolay, which is like a greenish blue. So this is going to be most of my water. So this is going to be my biggest color. Let 
me make sure to get my jar cleaned off. So that's like a green blue color. So I'm going to do the most of this because that's like my water. My watercolor. I don't stress about getting it exactly even. Oh my gosh, the water is deeper. The water is thicker on this side, whatever. It's an ombre and it's the beach, so nothing is perfect at the beach, guys. So don't stress. Alrighty, that was my watercolor. Now we're going to move on to the foamy part of my water, which I will be using Snow Day. You see that? All right. Which is a really pretty iridescent white. It's in a 0.25 hex, so it's a little bigger than regular. Um, but I like I like how it looks as my foam part. It shifts all kinds of opaly colors too, so it gives it a little bit of a Kind of like a little bit of an opal iridescent shift. All right. Just a little bit of the white. Oh, put the lid on. I forgot to pick up the glitter that I have on here. All right. So I'll put this back in my jar. All right. Probably just contaminated my white. Pretty sure I did, but. That's okay. And then the last color for my sand, I'm going to use Mercedes, which is a very sandy brown gold. Really pretty. All right. And which looks pretty, very pretty as the sand down here. And to get the bottom, I just take my jar and I do it up at the top. Just toss it at the bottom. So let me get this back in my jar. Oh, this, this, this color is gorgeous. This is a 0.25, a cut as well. So I like mixing the cuts on this beach tumbler because when you add the next layer of the alcohol inks, you really get to see a lot of movement under under there. So. And that was it, guys. So if you are to, if you want to stop here, you can. You can epoxy this, and this could be a perfect beach tumbler, just like it is. But we're going to take it a step further, and we're going to add some epoxy over the top, and then we're going to do some waves on it, so it'll really look like really beachy. So um, the next step you would do, you would let this spin for about two hours, and then you would come back, and you would put a flood coat over the top. So the good thing about the epoxy method, when you put your glitter on, your glitter pretty much stays where it's at. You don't have to worry about it running into other colors whenever you go to put your flood coat on because it's there's so little epoxy on here, you're, it's not going to move at all, okay? So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to change it out, and I'm gonna, we're going to go on to the next step so you can see how to do it completely. So one second. Okay guys, we're back. So I have swapped out the cup that I, we just did with one that I've already got done. So this is a little bit different size um, and the colors look a little bit different or like the areas are a little bit different but same technique. So I have a mixed epoxy on the side. I'm going to take these little um, condiment cups and I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to coat my my cup with a thin coat of epoxy because I need a carrier for the rest of my epoxy to slide around on. So for this this step, you're going to need um, your cup that's already epoxyed smooth. So this is after you've done your glitter 
coat that we just did, you're going to flood coat it and it's going to be nice and smooth. It doesn't have to be totally perfect because you're going to have another coat of epoxy on here. Um, then you're going to have regular epoxy mixed. You're going to have your heat gun, which I have right here, which we also sell um, on MrNolasGlitter.com. So if you need a heat gun, this is the one I, I use. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You're going to need some alcohol inks. Pinata white. You guys know that is my go-to white. We're going to be using some marabou inks. We have turquoise. We have aqua green. And we have um, gentian which is the dark blue. So we're going to work some waves and some magic and stuff all into this cup so you get another layer and it almost kind of looks 3D. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to, I have my epoxy mixed, it's been sitting. I'm going to take a thin coat and just lightly coat this cup with a cup with a thin coat of epoxy so it's kind of like a carrier so when we start adding um, other epoxy on the top of this it will slide around and it'll have something that like kind of it kind of floats on top okay you don't have to be super perfect with this layer you just need um, a thin layer on top so whenever we start dripping the other stuff into it it'll move around a little bit more okay so, just a nice even coat. Make sure you get your bottom if you want to. I'm just making sure there's epoxy on every bit of this. So when we go on to that next step, everything is ready to move around and roll around like waves. Okay. So that's going to move. That's going to, I'm going to let that spin for a second and even itself out. I am going to swap out my gloves because I have epoxy on my hands and we don't want that. So I'm going to swap out my glove real quick for a fresh. For a fresh glove. All right. Fresh glove. I'm going to take a couple of my um, little oops, condiment cups and I'm going to probably do, I think I'm going to do three. Just a little bit. You don't need a whole bunch. And then whatever's left in here, you can save and you can use it for a different color. So I'm going to do the dark blue. Just a few drops. This is the gentian. Um, then I have the turquoise here. I'm going to put the same thing. A few drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you think looks good. Whatever colors that you like, this is all about personal preference. So this is aqua green. So this is kind of like this color of my water. All right. Most of you know that this already, I cut my popsicle sticks in half whenever I'm mixing little bit bits like this. So your popsicle sticks or your mixers or whatever, you can use silicone stirrers. Um, I probably should be using them. We sell them, but uh, I forgot, and so we're just rolling what we have here. So now this is like a really dark blue, so I like that. I think that's perfect. I think that color is really nice. So um, if you think it's too dark, don't worry, because you're already going to put it on top of a cup that already, that already has epoxy, so it's going to lighten a little bit. So if you want this a little darker, by all means, make it dark. What I do is I build up my colors. So I might not make them super dark right now, but then when I put another, um, when I go back in, I make it a little bit darker or I mix the colors together because that's what gives it like a 3D effect, okay? So I have those mixed. And then here is my green aqua, which we can see that. It's not mixed up already. I'm going to make sure I mix it over here. On the side here. 
So here are my three colors right here, bam, blue, aqua, and light blue. So what I'll do is I will drizzle this dark blue, which I see right now. I don't think it's going to be dark enough, but I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this at the top here. And then I will go back in and make it darker. All right, so that was the dark blue. This is the light blue. I'll just go down. This is kind of messy, so make sure you have something under your thing. I usually use a silicone mat, but because I want to show you guys, I want it to concentrate on the cup, I've used just a piece of paper. Then here is my green that I'm going to go down into the green portion. Now you can barely see this, which is fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to darken this up. All right, so that's going to spin and do its thing. So I'm going to go back in with my inks and I'm going to make them even darker. So this green will be real green. Let me see. It might be too much, so I'll add a little bit of epoxy. All right, so this is my really green. So we got really dark green. This one is their turquoise. So we'll do that. Really turquoise it up. Sorry, didn't know I was uh, wasn't on the camera. All right. And then this is the gentian blue here. See, I'm just adding a few more drops. This is going to be a little bit darker. It's not going to be too, 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 too dark because in the last layer we'll, we'll add the alcohol directly on top of it, okay? All right, so how, here's my blue color. So that blue is a little darker. All right, so now you can really see it moving in there. Now you can really see that on there. This is the turquoise, which is a little darker, which I like. You can see it a little better. All right, and then here is the green, which is almost too dark or too thin, but we'll see. There we go. Not really, that works. All right, so now you can see that on the top of that. So we're gonna put these to the side. I think we might be done with that for now. So the last little bit, I'm gonna take the, the rest of my cup here. I'm not gonna put it in another container. I'm just gonna use it like this. I'm gonna mix my white pinata alcohol ink in here. I'm just gonna use my regular stick down here. So this is super pigmented, so it kind of makes like a very opaque slash more opaque than translucent, okay, which is that's what you want because when you take the heat gun to this and you start blowing it around, you want it to look like that all those different colors are melting together. So the first place I'm going to start is right here on my white part of my beach where my froth is with my glitter, okay. Just gonna do it like this. You can go down into the beach because on your sand because the wa the waves do crash down there. This looks like a lot of epoxy, but a lot of this will move and a lot of this will fall off. All right, you want a little bit of white caps up in there, so you're just gonna take a little a little bit of white up here. Maybe some clouds are gonna be up there, so you're just gonna do a little bit of right there, maybe right there more down there so you're like oh yeah that looks like a hot mess it does but we're about to show I'm about to show you where the magic comes in all right and so I'll put a little bit more up into my green up here all right so let me put my lids back on so I don't knock anything over and make a mess any more than I already normally do all right 
So that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks a hot mess. It's beachy-ish. So then I'm going to take my heat gun, and this is where the magic comes in. I still have plenty of white left, so if I feel like I need to add some more waves or something, I can do that. So I'm just going to take my heat gun, make sure it's warmed up. And you're going to use your heat gun to move around. My heat gun's tied up around here. There we go. To move your white around to create your waves. So you can blow them up. First of all, I just heat it up a little bit. Like so. You definitely need a heat gun for this. A, um, a torch or a, a butane torch or whatever is a little bit too much. You want it to you want to use your heat gun to kind of blow your epoxy around to create those ripples and waves into your cup. So you're going to notice a lot of epoxy is going to drip off your cup. That's fine. take your heat gun and blow your epoxy different ways and it causes different effects because you see that the water is moving down, those white, the white is moving down, it's fine. You want to move it up, you can, you want your clouds to go up and make a little bit of different effect, you can. And as you can see, you can see through the ink that's on here, so you will be able to see that glitter underneath here. It is dripping a lot. Yes, it is. But that's okay because once it's done, you're going to have this beautiful beach cup. All right. So I'm going to let this drip for a few minutes because it's really drippy, if you can see on this side. But you can see how that white is mixing in and is creating the white caps and everything else on your, on your cup. So if you decide that you wanna add another layer, what you can do is we can, I think it's perfect right now. I might, the only thing I would do maybe is I would blow, I would probably blow this down just a little bit because I feel like I have a, a lip or something down here. So I would blow it over beach part at the bottom, the bottom of my cup right there, so to kind of give it a little more coverage. I think I like that a little better. Oh, maybe. I keep seeing it over there. So if you want to add another layer, you can drop your epoxy on the dark colors up here, like this. All right, and let it roll. And then we'll heat that up again and we'll move it a little bit more. But this will add maybe like a fourth dimension to your beach. Add a little bit of a couple drops of this in here. You can definitely stop at that last step if that's what you like. If that's the way you like it, I just like a little bit more dimension, which my thing messed up right there, but. All right. I really like how that makes it add, that adds a little bit more. So if, I think I'm not going to let it, I don't think I'm going to hit it with the heat anymore. I think I like those colors swirling together. I do see a spot. Yeah. 
This is really pretty. Except right there. I think it's pretty perfect. So I'll see if I can bring it down so you can really see a little closer. Uh, what it is focusing on here, now the cup. So now you have, it's like 3D. So you have the glitter at the bottom, you have a thin coat of clear epoxy, and then you have um, one color, then we've darkened it up, added another color, we've put the white on to create these waves and the, the swirl look, and then I took the regular alcohol ink at full strength, added a couple dots, and now we have, we have a little bit of 3D. I won't worry about how this is coming down because the beach is not even, guys, so the beach will sometimes come down here. After this is done, if you want to put some initials in the sand, take some brown, gold, copper vinyl, put your name, your initials, and you can like make it look like it's written in the sand. All right. So that's it, guys. That is how I do my beach tumbler. I will post pictures of this completed in our Facebook group group so go check that out come join us we have lots of talented people over there we do lots of fun stuff uh, if you've liked this video or if you've learned something or if you didn't like it let me know if you've liked it please like the put push the thumbs up like subscribe all that fun stuff if you want to see something special let me know I can definitely do that for you um, and like I said all of these products come from Mr. Nola's glitter so come check us out and thank you for watching and I can't wait to see what you create talk to you soon bye